All right, hello. We are playing Singe in the top lane, and we're against a uh, a Lowy. And as a, as a plat pattern throughout every single video, um, I, I mentioned that the top laner is very rough for Singe. It's a bad matchup. It's a very uh, rough matchup for him because he often has bad matchups. But anyway, uh, I took Spellbook this game because... You know, I, I was like, okay, obviously fighting a Lowy in a long duel or a long trade would not work out, right? A Lowy heals more from just hitting me, right? With grasp, with everything else, right? And you don't want to stay on a Lowy because her ult. Um, one, one thing about her ult is that she needs to be inside it. And I can only flip once, maybe, maybe twice in a fight, before you know I, I get absolutely blasted to uh, to he to the heavens, right? And that's that's not a fun time. So I decided to proxy. They saw me through a ward there, but no one came, and Alawi doesn't seem to really care. So I'll just proxy, right? I am proxying with spellbook. So, I have Ghost and Flash, right, and it's not really a huge issue if someone does come. So, I put a deep ward a little past the wolves, right, I saw a Minish Cap video the other day. He's starting, he's been starting to upload every day, and now I have to, I have to compete against that, alright? It's, it's rough being a, a Singe content, the, the Singe guy, when all the other Singe players started uploading, Almost a few months after I started uploading. It's very, hmm, hmm, there's, there's, it's not a coincidence, is it? Or maybe it is, who knows? Tommy309 starts uploading every day and then Minish Cap starts uploading every day? Hmm, there must be something going on. There's some sort of conspiracy. So I know Kha'Zix is nearby, right? I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, you know, if he comes, I'm gonna waste his time, right? And uh, I, I know he's doing his blue or something because he doesn't want to do very much. I toss my W and I goof whip him and then I walk away. I flash the mastery to tilt, right? Mastery flashing is important. This game is a mental game, okay? You, you, can, you can say that there's a lot of mechanics and stuff and that is right. But if you get into the opponent's head before they can show off their mechanics, it's, it makes the game so much easier. You've, you've had games where you've gone into a game and your mid laner is tilted. And they just run it down. And they don't do anything. And guess what? That's all mental, right? It's not them playing bad. It's they believe that they're playing bad or they're... Right? They came into the game already negative. And that's why you need to realize that being positive in games will actually help you win games, right? It's better for you. I think Alawi is still bugged. Um, playing in this matchup is a little annoying just because she kind of spams and she also has a corrupting, so she kind of has like infinite sustain somewhat, right? But uh, her indicators sometimes don't show up on the ground and I'm not really sh entirely sure why. Uh, I've, I've had that happen a lot, like multiple times, and it's, I don't know, I think it's ridiculous that it's still like a thing. But yeah, right now we're matching CS. I did back, and I did lose a couple minions, I did lose a cannon, right? So I think I'm, at this point, I'm a little behind in experience, which is, which is okay, right? Um... I'm not going to try to fight Alawi too much unless I get a gank from a teammate, right? But other than that, there's not really a point in trying to force something unless I can guaranteed win, right? And since she's all her pots left still, it's not really, you know, I can try to waste it. But the, the value there is just not, he, she's just going to back anyway, right? So we're just going to farm it out. Right, because obviously she's just gonna win most of the fights that we try to try to do with her. But yeah, so right now, um, people are uploading Singe content, and I should really do a guide or something. And I have to compete against Tommy and Minish, and probably like 
the the clickbait YouTubers. I don't know what their names are, but you you know the clickbait, right? The the yellow border, um, heavy clickbait played in normals, right? This is not that you know that I think that stuff is trash, but obviously people watch it for a reason. If you like, I I understand clickbait, and I understand that like clickbait is an essential part of YouTube, and I wish it was different. But there's no reason for someone to click on a video, right? When they can look at this crazy, look at this crazy new build, look at this, right? Someone would rather watch that versus like, oh, here's how I do strategy and a bunch of other stuff. And of course, there's people, you know, looking to be educated, right? And that that's, that's you know, something, right? But the amount of uh, viewers for that is significantly less than people who just want content, which is... Which is normal, right? Because what what YouTube is is like it's mainly dictated by kids or at least like teenagers and what they want to watch. So I can assume you guys are pretty good players if you're watching my videos to uh, try to improve your gameplay, right? And you, you the overlap between my audience and the clickbait audience, there might be some, but it's not it's not like a complete shift over, right? I just wanted to mention that, I don't know, I I could go for like the full clickbait trash and play normals all day, but I feel bad. I feel like I'm I'm lying, like I can mention that it's a normal game, you know, I played with a pre-made, they got me fed, right? But like, I feel like this is not genuine content. I don't know. Some people are fine with it, and some people like, do it for fun, right? The videos are obviously for fun, so it's fine. There's no, there's no issue there. But yeah, so Zed comes to try to help me out. I pop barrier a little too early, but that's fine because we tank it. I steal the kill here from Zed because one more slam would have killed him. And this is this is the thing that people sometimes forget is that don't just give kills if they're low. Like you save your teammate no matter the cost, right? Like, if he died there, it would have been worth for Lowy, and then there's no point, right? There's no point in giving him the kill if he's, is, if he's just going to be put behind. It's like when your ADC, like, s pretend you're support, right? When your ADC is fighting the Draven, and they're both the same HP, right? They're about to, like, one more auto, right? Just take the kill. Your ADC might get angry at you, but you saved their, their, their life... They get to take the next two waves or something and push into the turret. That's another like 200 something golds, 300 golds, easy, right? Doesn't lose any XP because they're not dead, right? And obviously, you know, the gold is probably better on the ADC unless you're playing Pike or something or Bard, right? But the, the value you get is overall better if they survive. And it's not like a new concept or anything, I'm just, you know, that's something that you can keep in mind when you're ganking as a jungler, or when you're playing support and something's happening, or even just in fights. Like, it's fine to take the kill if the value is there. And don't, don't brag about it, be like, yo, sorry I took the kill, okay? But you were literally one hit, and I would rather you live and take the next 40 billion waves of CS, which is worth more than the 300 that guy was worth. All right, and I'll make it up to you. I'll make up. I'll make it up to you by uh, helping you kill the next like 30 people in the game. Right, and that's fine. Look at Alawi. Did you see that? That was half my HP in like three autos and a something else. So I ghost, right? I know Kha'Zix is always squishy. Junglers, when they're ganking you, you kill them first because they're always squishier than you, right? So Kha'Zix, for whatever reason, uh, decides to stay, and then I flip him and he dies, right? And then Alawi, obviously seeing that I have blue buff and I was more healthier than her and she doesn't have anything, is like kind of pondering, saying, mm, maybe I shouldn't fight him. And she just kind of leaves. I leave as well because I don't want to fight a lot because it's actually like a skill matchup here. If we fight each other, it's whoever lands the most stuff, right? And that's probably going to be her because I don't really have anything. So we did go Tabby's first. 
we wanted the extra movement speed because I wanted to gank the Echo. The the Echo was, um, I don't know, Echo is just really, really strong. And I really don't like when there's a fed Echo and then my ADC complains about getting one shot. Like, he's an assassin, you know, like, there's a, <laughs> there's kind of a reason why he died and he shouldn't have been there, right? Oh, that's another thing. Every single death you have in a game is your fault. Wait, hold up, but my team baited me. No, it's your fault. You chose to be there. And I I take full responsibility for my deaths as well. Because, yes, you can be like, yeah, my team baited me and they spam pinged me to come and then I died instantly. But you could have just not, you could have made that decision yourself to not be there. <laughs> And when you learn to not die pointlessly, right, you become a better, you become a better player. So allow he's just slamming and stuff. Uh, I walk a little bit out of her ult just in case. The slam almost killed me there. I was a little scared. And then uh, Echo comes in with the, the, the flash protobelt or the E, e protobelt flash auto to kill me for whatever reason. Um, they lost two, they got me, which was a shutdown for an extra 150 gold, which is unfortunate, right? I probably could have flashed upwards right here, right? And then popped the thing and gotten away com compared to, like, the Echo sliding in. Because my team wasn't too, like, they weren't too badly, uh, wounded, right? But, you know, hindsight is 2020, right? When I was playing the game, I was like, ooh, I should have probably just ran into the enemy team, rather than uh, risking it with the Echo. And Echo did use a lot for me. Like he used a Flash and a Protobelt, right? But it still was, it could have been cleaner. And again, that's why I was talking about the deaths because you, you take full responsibility. Like you can be like, oh, well I just got, I got shit on by a full AD Lethality Scion because uh, he randomly popped out of a bush and killed me. Yeah. Uh, sometimes some things are bullshit, but, uh, you know, you could have been paying attention. You could have, uh, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to excuse if you get one shot by a cast in when you had no vision. All right. It's still your fault, but not as much because the game sucks. Okay. Cast in level 16 with the, the two items and, and being able to just one tap you. That's, it's ridiculous. Okay. That's, that's. I don't know how that's a thing. Now, I run around, I flip, right? I do the flips. They just kill everyone. Zed gets one tapped by the ults because three tentacles went and then he died. And that's that's why I tried to save him uh, before when I stole his kill because the tentacles do a lot of damage. And some people don't really realize that how much they do. But they do a lot. Anyway, so at this point, right, um, it is 13 minutes in, right, we're doing pretty good, but you need to secure the win. You can't be just ahead playing the game, you know? You can you can be ahead and, like, get a Penta level 2, right? But it doesn't matter, right, having all that gold and stuff if you don't use it properly and you don't close out the game. So I start going mid. I know top is pushed, it just got pushed in by a Rift Herald and me and Volleybear, right? Not a whole lot to do up top. She's going to slowly push it back because that's just how people are. There's no way she's going to be freezing it in front of her tower. I doubt it, right? So I, I sit bot. I'm like, okay, let, let's do something bot, okay? Because I, I know they, they, they're playing weird. I, I didn't know where Kha'Zix was, but they were playing weird. At least this Lulu was. Like, this Lulu would really, likes, real, ugh, ugh, likes to really walk up like that, like this. This was concerning, so I came in, uh, and I, I don't even know. Vane, Vane just sort of entered there, and I could have showed up faster. I just thought this bush was warded here. So, hey, there's me, TPing back top lane. So, going in on a Lowie, you need to be careful right about her ultimate because her ultimate is ridiculous right you want to either not be in her ult or you know 
get her out of it because that's that's where most of her damage will come from like she has her slams and stuff but aside from that most of the damage will be you know it, it'll, it'll be from the 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 multiple slams from her ultimate allowing not doing too hot this game i made sure to not die to her early or try to fight because she just hurts she can build whatever she wants. She could have gone Sterics first, and she still would be able to just kill me. Didn't matter, right? So, RCS is not looking too great, but it's okay, right? It's, it's not like, you know, our three kills and four assists aren't, haven't meant anything for our team, right? I go mid, right? Not, this, you know, this, I just go mid, and then... Uh, since Alawi's like slow pushing top, right? I'm not really sure what this Kha'Zix was doing. He does flash away and gets away with his life, which is, you know, fine. He does use flash. I kind of run at Echo. I want to see what he does, right? Ooh, that's a little bit of damage. Our Kaisa did have lethal tempo this game, which I thought was a little strange. Normally I see, uh, Hail of Blades. And she did mention that Lethal Tempo was not that great, but it seemed like it did okay this game, so it's fine. So we wanted to chase Alawi here, but she's clearly too fast. She has tier 2 boots. Zed has tier 2 boots, but like she already had a head start. So no point. Push out this wave and then uh, probably group with my team at some point. Nice little ward. Right. I push mid because I know bot. There's no, there's no way they screw up the bot fight, right? Like, what is Echo gonna do? One v four? Yeah, he can, but not this game though. This game, he's just gonna die. It does take 30 years, but he does die. Yeah. So I'm pressuring mid so that they can pressure bot or something. Top lane is already gone. Not really a point. And this point right here, I leave. Right. I, I don't want to risk it. If Kha'Zix were to jump on me and just like hit me a bunch, he would be able to kill me along with the Lulu. Because Lulu, of course, can amplify his damage like a crazy amount and just lock me down. And it's just not worth it. Because we had Dragon up. And Infernal Dragon is very, very nice on basically every single champion. Even tanks, okay? You know, tanks benefit a little. Not a whole lot, but they benefit. Right, it's definitely great for my team. Alright, so I'm just sitting mid, you know. Right, just wanna I just wanna be close. And Zed's going up top lane to uh, clear the wave and start up a a larger wave up top. Big uh big big pressure, alright? We're pressuring all three lanes at once. Which is great. So three people are bot, which is nice because Volley Bear and Senna should be able to peel for the Kai'Sa easily. I, I ping that Echo is walking downwards, right? And I walk into this because I, I was just not tabbed, right? And that was half my HP with the everything. You know, that hurts, right? I goo flip him and then I walk away because, you know, he's kind of scary. But yeah, not, not, not a whole lot going on. I'm basically just farming mid for now. Like, you know, we're just here. Alright, there's not a whole lot. So we back. I believe I have enough gold to get Zhonya's. Um, I think I don't use Zhonya's very well this game, actually. I think I think at one or two points in the game, um, I could have just lived. But I forgot I had Zhonya's or I was, you know, too, too, uh... Yeah, too distracted by uh, the lawnmower outside or I don't know. Something was happening in my brain that was causing it to not just recognize that I was in danger. And obviously, you know, you want to play to your full capacity, right? Let me dodge the queue just in case. You know, maybe, maybe he really wants to do something. Who knows? I don't know where anyone is on the enemy team. We have a single word in their jungle and then that's sort of it. So, uh, I'm creating a little pressure bot. They're pressuring mid. Zed is top, right? We're again pressuring everything. Because they can only do so much, right? 
Their wave clear is on Echo and maybe a Lowey, right? Kha'Zix? Oh, Kha'Zix is clear? Kha'Zix wave clear? Ooh. Yeah, maybe in like Season 3 when people used to play mid and top lane Kha'Zix. But not now, alright? So th this... I, I was sat there, right? Obviously, because Echo was going to ult back. And I run forward, right? I want to I wanna do something here. I want to do something here. Something happened. Kha'Zix tried to kill the Kai'Sa. And then nothing happened. So, yeah. So we, we get Baron. It takes a really long time. But we get Baron and we back, which is nice. Right? And this game... At this point, all we need to do is just go mid or go bot or go top as 5 or maybe 1-1-3, one, one, right? And just just finish it up, right? We get a, we get a free dragon here. Kha'Zix tries to steal it, but he doesn't smite because he didn't have smite. So he just sort of dies for no reason. This Kha'Zix was just not having a good game. And I'm not sure if it, it had something to do with me proxying and drawing attention or what now because obviously his early game got screwed a little bit because he tried to chase me down and i just goo flipped him and left right but that was like maybe 10 20 wasted seconds so i don't think it would matter that much i don't know but he was just generally behind right so this game is basically over right and this was this was a game played in plat 2 on my main Right, I need to get diamond, right? I need to not be a washed plat singe player so I can provide you guys with proper educational singe content and not just be smurfing in normals because I feel bad. <laughs> I need to actually gain confidence in my ability as a singe player to do stuff. And the next game after this one, um, I lost, which was really unfortunate because I thought I did pretty well for a bit. I went like... 8 3 15 or something but it didn't it didn't matter cuz our mid laner went 310 <laughs> which sucks right that's always never a fun time and um, the enemy syndra just didn't die right like that that's just you know it's sometimes you just have those games where you do really well but your team just doesn't match your performance which is it's okay it happens right you, you shouldn't tilt over it but if you really feel bad about it just take a break right if you feel bad about something go go do something else like take a take a little break play an aram right play some tft if you enjoy some tft right now star guardians is a pretty good comp with a uh, syndra with blue buff that's fun right so i die there i could have zonia uh, but i didn't for whatever reason i just did not zonia so, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I just hit backspace, yeah. Watch me die again. And, uh, you know, this slowly gets... Uh, it's not even a backdoor. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're just, like, trolling around here. Like, he autos and, like... Yeah, game's over. Um, that That's how I face the Lowry lane. I just go roam. <laughs> And maybe Predator would have been, would not have been bad this game, but I went with the Spellbook because Spellbook was a little a little better, a little better. But yeah, look at this, eight four twelve. Okay, not bad, right? I died twice, really pointlessly, which I I still feel bad about. Uh, our Nami was tilted like immediately. All right, I don't know why she was tilted. She like got caught like two times, and then kept getting caught. Our LeBlanc could not match the Syndra, and that's just normal because Syndra is able to, you know, outrange or whatever, right? And we couldn't kill her. We caught her off. Like, I flipped her. I goo flipped her, right? Multiple times, and she did not die. I don't know how. I don't know how that happened, but she just didn't die. But, you know, that's just, that's just what happens in these some of these games. Like, I have, like, all the gold on my team aside from this guy, right? Like... The, the gold difference is kind of crazy. This guy had 20,000 gold. It's nuts. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I wasn't too loud. Hopefully the music wasn't too loud. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm gonna, I want to do the 500 subscriber giveaway already, all right? 
You guys gotta, you gotta speed it up, okay? I, I'm trying to give out like $50 in RP or something, okay? Come on, speed it up. All right. Anyways, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you are. And uh, have fun playing Singed.